Zuhayb from Pakistan. Assalamu alaikum, Sheikh. Alaikum assalam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Okay, Sheikh, my question is regarding uh, the question as you mentioned some while ago that it is asked. To, uh, it's a, a question which is frequently asked to the scholars that, you know, someone wants to marry someone but his or her parents are not willing and that kind of situation. And of course, uh, according to Islam, you have the right to marry anyone you want. But if him or her is a practicing Muslim. Now, the problem in society, you see that someone uh, wants to marry someone. So instead of uh, sending the proposal for marriage, in case it's a boy, he asks a girl, he proposes her and then they start dating and then they say it's okay. Uh, in, uh, in Islam, you can marry with your choice. But there should be a clarification that yes, you can marry with your choice, but talking to him or her before marriage is not allowed. True. This is basics. So what's your question? My question is, uh, uh, Sheikh, in today's society, whenever you tell this to someone, they say, no, we are allowed to marry anyone. So Okay. I, I think I, I understand your question. So Zuhaib is saying that, Sheikh Hasim, you are encouraging men to marry whomever they want, even if this requires them going against their parents' wish. But you never mention that in order for this man to fall in love with this woman, they must have dated and went out and probably had premarital relationships. And this is all haram. Akhi, this is a given. We have no doubt in that. Such couple are sinful for just calling one another, even if they never met. Calling one another and, and socializing and chit-chatting is sinful because this is considered to be premarital relationship. Even if they haven't seen one another, having a relationship through Instagram or Facebook, like many people come to me and say, Sheikh, I fell in love with this one woman for two years. Oh, where did you meet? No, we've never met. We just communicated on Facebook. A'udhu Billah. This is face hell, not Facebook. So definitely this is out of the question. But Akhi Zuhaib, the question usually comes to us after they had already gone too far. So now we have a situation. The man had crossed all the lines and he fell in love and they had a, a communication that was haram, a premarital relationship. Now they've repented and they want to rectify things and get married. They love one another. The parents say no. His parents, not hers. Hers are okay with that. So what to do? If I tell him, Akhi, forget about her, and he's man enough to do so and to move on with his life, that's a win-win. But the problem is that 99% of such people are already hooked and love is blind, as they say. And the guy loves this woman and maybe she's a good woman. She repented and she became practicing. Why prevent these two lovers from joining in a halal marriage? It doesn't make any sense. This is what we usually uh, uh, mean and Allah knows best.